I think it goes without saying that I love GM. But when they make a terrible decision, I am more than happy to call them out for it. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Mello with Marty's Buick GMC and Chevrolet. And in today's video, I finally have to talk about GM's decision to kill Apple CarPlay. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm sure most of you heard this news last week, but for those who didn't, let me quickly get you up to speed and then let's talk about my thoughts on this whole fiasco. So Reuters was the first to drop this story with an article titled, GM plans to phase out Apple CarPlay and EVs with Google's help. And in the article, Reuters says that General Motors plans to phase out widely used Apple CarPlay and Android Auto technologies that allow drivers to bypass a vehicle's infotainment system, shifting instead to built-in infotainment systems developed with Google for future electric vehicles. GM's decision to stop offering those systems in future electric vehicles, starting with the 2024 Chevrolet Blazer, could help the automaker capture more data on how consumers drive and charge EVs. According to the report, GM has been working with Google since 2019 to develop the software foundations for infotainment systems that will be more tightly integrated with other vehicle systems, such as GM's Super Cruise Driver Assistant. The automaker is also accelerating a strategy for its EVs to be platforms for digital subscription services. All right, so there's a bit to unpack with all this news. First of all, if you're GM and you're trying to increase your EV market share and you're trying to convince more people to even consider getting into an EV, it might not be the best idea to remove one of the most requested vehicle features from prospective buyers. According to Apple, 79% of new car buyers insist on this feature. And although I do think that number from Apple comes in a little hot, which would make sense, they might be a little biased on that. An independent survey done in 2020 showed 48% of car buyers want CarPlay or Android Auto in their next vehicle. So just for simplification's sake, let's call it 50%, half of car buyers. In fact, let's do this. I know GM sees my videos, so drop a comment below and let me know if CarPlay or Android Auto was or is a major deciding factor for you when it comes to buying or when it came to buying your car, truck, or SUV. I have a feeling I already know what the results are going to be, but who knows? I, I've been wrong before. We'll see if I'm wrong again. Now, from what we know, this decision to drop CarPlay and Android Auto support will not affect any GM vehicles already on the market nor will it apply to any gas or diesel-powered GM vehicles in the coming years. Once again, if you're GM and you're trying to get your customers to consider buying an EV, this whole thing just seems highly counterproductive. Now, I'll admit, I've always used CarPlay in every vehicle that I could, mainly because I use Spotify and Waze, up until I got a Hummer EV. And that's not because the Hummer EV can't utilize CarPlay, because it certainly can, it does it well, it's just because for the first time ever, the system that came with the Hummer EV built with Google and Unreal Engine was a lot more robust than what I ever had in prior GM vehicles, like my Sierra, which I still love. Spotify, of course, works for me fine via Bluetooth, but the Maps experience in the Hummer specifically is incredibly satisfying, both visually and from a UI experience. And that is how GM should get their customers to use their system over CarPlay or Android Auto by creating a better system and user experience. Don't just remove the customer's options. They will always hate that, myself included. Just do it better. And believe me, if you do it better, customers just like me will choose to utilize your system over CarPlay or Android Auto. Now, when this news came out, I saw some people pointing to Tesla's success without ever offering CarPlay or Android Auto to their customers. But for Tesla, it's a little bit of a different scenario. First, they never took anything away from their customers. They just never offered it. There's, there's just a big difference between never having something versus taking it away. Tesla does prove, however, that customers will still buy a vehicle without CarPlay or Android Auto if the vehicle's built-in system provides a better experience. The other concern that I have is what will happen in September when Apple reveals its next generation CarPlay system, which is expected to be far more robust and customizable with the ability to take over multiple screens inside your vehicle and instrument cluster integration. This is the Apple we're talking about. So in addition to the enhancements, I also expect the new system to get massive publicity. Every automotive outlet will be testing it. Every automotive outlet will be talking about it. Every YouTuber will be showcasing its capabilities. It's probably going to be very, very hyped. And GM better be prepared to compete with that.
My final thought on this is that I'm confident that GM with Google can build a great native system, one that can even be better than anything CarPlay or Android Auto can offer. Thank God Google actually bought Waze. The problem, however, will be convincing the public of it. And that, I think, is going to be one hell of an obstacle for GM to overcome, especially if it comes along with an additional monthly subscription cost. But let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on this news. If you made it this far into the video, you know what to do. Just smash that like button to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe share this video with a friend. Be sure to check out martysparts.com for all your GM OEM parts needs. And I'll catch you all in the very next video. Thanks again for watching, as always, and take care.